საშინაო სკოლის გაკვეთილებს წარმოგიდგენთ კომპანია Silkmedi. Hello, today we should write about Mary Sikal what she did when she was in the war. Um, of course, she helped the wounded soldiers, but remember she visited Florence Nightingale Hospital and she, Florence didn't need her, so she had to leave the hospital and build her own hotel close, close to the war, close next, right next to the British soldiers' camp. And this is what we're going to write. Let's open our books at page 118. We have Miss Sparkle here. She says, when Mary Seacole went to help in the war, she had to build a hotel herself. Kaxotel, but what is it, Mary Seacole? Zavida Omshi, Florence Nightingale is some of the women who are Florence Mawari Utramas, Dahmare Bazeta, Masmuts, yet he to Nation, a Bina Sastobro. Gadavshalot, in training. Signebi Mosavlis, Signebi Asmet from it, a quartz take, Miss Sparkle, Quarsenebs from Mary Sicoli Rodesat Zavida, the Sahmarebat Omshi, Masmuts, yes, as to Rost, Vito Nationeba. So, what she did, what did she do, how did she do, who helped her? This is what we're going to write about. But guess what? We have notes here that would help us to write the composition. And of course, when we have ready notes, it's very easy. Um, let's read the notes about Mary Seacall during the war. Look at the pictures, first of all. Look. Found place for hotel near British Army camp. Called it Spring Hill. Workmen helped build it, found materials, used uh, pieces of wood, wooden boxes, metal sheets, old doors, windows from village. Hotel had one big room for eating, kitchen, two buildings for sleeping, stable yard, uh, named the British Hotel. At hotel, Mary sold meals, coffee, useful objects, looked after sick people and wounded soldiers. Visited wounded soldiers at army camp, and man called her Mother Sea Call. Took food to army camp, helped wounded soldiers at the place of the battle, British and Russian soldiers. So, we should start writing our composition by Mary Sea Call found a place for her hotel near the British army camp. Let's write it. So, Mary Sea Call. Found the place for her hotel near the British Army camp. Okay. Now next note is called it Spring Hill. It was called Spring Hill. Okay. Uh, workman helped build it. Workman helped Mary to build the hotel. Mary to build the hotel. Okay, then we read found materials. They helped her to find material. They helped her to find material, building material, right? Then used pieces of wood, wooden boxes. They used pieces of box 
pieces of boxes. What else? Wooden boxes. Oh, excuse me, pieces of wood and wooden boxes. They used pieces of wood, wooden boxes, uh, what else, metal sheets, old doors. and the windows from the village. All the doors and the windows. From village. Then, now how many rooms were there and uh, how many buildings were there? The hotel had Hotel had one big room, like dining room, dining room, and the kitchen. Where meals were fixed, and there were two buildings for sleeping and stable yard. There were, there were other. Two buildings for sleeping and a stable yard. Remember what is stable? Stable is a place where horse live. Now, uh, name British Hotel. Mary named her hotel, Mary named her hotel, British Hotel. Okay. What else, uh, what, did, what else did she do? At hotel, Mary sold meals, coffee, useful objects. At hotel, Mary sold hot meals, other useful objects. What else did she do? Of course, she looked after the wounded soldiers, right? She looked after... She looked after the... Oh, I have to erase. She looked after the... She looked after the wounded soldiers. Okay, what else? She visited soldiers at army camp. The soldiers called her mother sea call. Soldiers called her Mother Seacall. 
mother seagull. Okay, what else? Took food at army camp and helped wounded soldiers at the place of battle. She took hot meal to army camp and helped British and Russian soldiers. Okay, so let's see. Mary Seacall found a place for her hotel near the, oh, I have two the here, near the British Army's camp. It was called Spring Hill. Workmen helped Mary to build the hotel. They helped her to find building material. They used pieces of wood, wooden boxes, metal sheets, old doors and windows from village. The hotel had one big room, like dining room, and the kitchen where meals were fixed. There were two buildings for sleeping and a stable yard. Mary named her hotel British Hotel. At hotel, Mary sold hot meals, other useful objects. She looked after the wounded soldiers. She visited soldiers at army camp. The soldiers called her Mother Seacall. She took hot meal to army camp and helped British and Russian soldiers. That's how notes helped me to write this composition, of course, and you can have the different one. But um, you have to write your own independent composition. Open your workbook at page, let's see. Um, open your workbook at page 108, 108, and you have to write about Florence Nightingale. You were watching me how I was using the notes when I was writing the composition, so you should do the same. You should go through the notes, read the notes. You will learn and read more about Florence that we didn't hear before. We haven't heard about her much from the text, right? Now, you will have the chance to read about her more. And the notes will help you to write the composition, of course, because it has complete information about her uh, childhood, about how she became the famous, uh, and well-known nurse, okay? Now it's time to listen to our diamond quest. Remember what happened, let me remind you. So it was about King Olaf who lived in Zerula and he died. And he had a daughter, Karina. She was sad because her father was dying and of course, that was the saddest day in her life uh, when she was left alone. And she said, I, I, she said she couldn't be a queen without Diamond. And she sent her friends, Silas, Bonto, and Lila, uh, Lilia, I think it's Lilia, to bring the Diamond. And they found out that the Diamond was stolen. And Queen. Uh, she wasn't queen, but Karina thought that the only one who could take the diamond was Prince Torgon, who wasn't a nice man at all. So her friends are ready to go and help Karina to get the diamond back. They are ready to leave, and they are ready to fight, and they are ready to do everything what they can to bring the diamond back. Let's listen and see if they manage to get the diamond. Diamond Quest, Part 2 Do you remember? King Olaf, the king of Zorula, died. His daughter, Princess Corina 
was very sad. She asked her friends, Banto and Silas, to bring her the great diamond of Zerula from the Golden Tower. Without the great diamond, she could not be queen. Banto and Silas went to the Golden Tower, but the great diamond was gone. Far away in his dark castle, Prince Torgan was laughing. What can we do? Without the diamond, I cannot be queen. Who has stolen it? Who? I can think of only one person. Prince Torgan. <gasps> We'll go to Prince Torgan's castle. We'll find the diamond. We'll bring it back to you. Don't worry, Karina. Immediately, Lilia, Banto and Silas jumped on their horses and set off for Prince Torgan's castle. Princess Karina's favourite dog went with them. Take Wogan with you. He'll protect you. Good luck, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye Karina. Karina. Goodbye. Goodbye. The three friends rode all day, through forests, over rivers, up and down steep and narrow paths. Wogan ran by their side. At last, late in the evening, they arrived. Look, there it is! In front of them was Prince Torgan's castle, huge, dark and gloomy. There are guards at the door. How can we get in? Look up there, there's a light in that window. Who is in that room? Come on. The three friends climbed up the tower. Oh, this is hard. Shh, be quiet. We're nearly there. At last, they reached the window and, very carefully, looked inside. There was Prince Torgan, and he was looking at the diamond. How beautiful it is! And it's mine! All mine! <laughs> Come here, take it! Keep it safe, my fierce little friend. <laughs> Lilia, Banto and Silas climbed quietly down the tower. What do we do now? We can do no more tonight. Oh, good. I'm tired. Come on, let's get some sleep. Back in the forest, they made a fire. Silas and Banto were soon asleep. Lilia sat with Wogan, looking into the flames. Well, Wogan, what do you think? Prince Torgan said that the diamond was his. Is he right? Or are we going to get it back for Princess Karina? What will tomorrow bring? I wonder... So you've listened to the story and now we don't know what will tomorrow bring, what will happen next, will they manage to get the diamond. They saw the diamond, they know where it is, they know that uh, Prince Torgan has it, but we will hear more about it next time. Thank you for listening. Goodbye now.